Hey guys, this is D-Man Games, and today we're going to be playing Reaper's in Interim Program, RIP, by David Polito Vargas. Um, this is this developer's first game, and uh, we're going to take a look right now. Maybe the dough, nice. A little loud. Movement with the uh, arrow keys for the UI. Let's turn down this volume immediately. Sure, how to navigate over to it. Uh, page up and page down. What the hell? Uh, okay. No uh, immediate feedback on that. Or maybe there is. Okay, there is. It's just two sliders. Holy moly. I'm not sure if you guys could hear anything I just said. But the sound for the um, UI interaction is still just as loud, so it looks like that isn't getting affected at all. Um, cool. Uh, how do I get out of page up? Let's go to continue. Uh, save and exit, please. You gotta give me my mouse, please. This is... Okay. Um, yeah, definitely let me do this with a mouse if it's gonna be this clunky. Uh, or just make me really recommend a controller or something. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be just for a controller. It looks like they have... Z, X, and C bound to things to do though. So yeah, number one thing, you have to polish up your control scheme, um, like give people the flexibility to, to try uh, to bind their own, or if not that, then at least have it, um, you know, uh, playable with controller. Those would be all big positives, um, or just give them a mouse to interact with your menu. Um, but yeah, definitely the control scheme here, like the, the pain I went through just to change that, uh, audio setting was, uh, was, is probably a big deal breaker for a lot of people. So, all right, let's go try playing. Uh, see that we will is strong. You want to keep going in the pro program. Are you ready for a new challenge? It's a, a kind of weird message for my first time. Maybe they should just say like "Welcome to the program" because I feel like I this is like picking up someone's old save or something. Anyways, and the text is kind of small too. Okay, let's go. Okay, I'll pick this up. Z to roll. Let's try rolling. Can't roll. How about jumping. Can't jump. Can't teleport. I'm just picking this stuff up like a game of snake or something, but I don't get longer, so maybe it's just moving around, nothing happening. Level zero. Oh, I see the thing in the top middle is filling up slowly. Um, changing the attack pattern. Sorry, a little bit of a misspell there. Okay, so now we got some things to dodge. Okay, now it's getting a little bit interesting. Um, I think I, I think it's just progressing a little too slowly even. Uh, I think it could really stand to just go faster than that. Okay, now it's getting interesting. Add a completed heart to your life. Add half heart to your life. Why would I want that? Change the current rewards. Add 10 souls to your level progress. So I just choose one of them. How do I choose? Is it Z? Z is close and continue. Enter. What the hell did I get? What? I didn't get anything. The fuck? Okay, yeah, like the feedback definitely needs work. I, if I don't know what I'm getting here, it's gonna be very hard to want to keep playing um, okay change the tag patterns 
Okay, so now there's two directions they're coming from. I like the concept, it's like bullet hell, uh, plus like, you know, just picking up EXP, like, that's fine. Um, gives me a sense of progression, as long as like, you know, something's happening. Also, you gotta tell me like, what direction these guys are gonna go and like, you could put an arrow on the, like, to tell me which direction these guys are gonna go. Okay, I, I, I need to select something, like this is, Fill all your life's meter. Oh. Okay, so. I think what this means is like. Okay, X. Space. Okay, I, I sorry, I have no idea. I'm just going to press all the buttons. That's pretty frustrating to not be able to pick your reward. Um, okay, I'm gonna try pressing Z on add 10 souls to your level progress and seeing if the level goes up. Okay, it did seem like it went up a bit. So I think it just automatically gives you whatever you were on. Even if you had full health, you know, uh, it's just gonna give you the same thing. Also, oh, why would it like offer me a worse alternative like half health instead of full health like also the reroll like how am i supposed to reroll if it just like closes and exits so many questions um okay change attack patterns okay so it's just gonna add more orbs that just spawn and I if I just stay in the middle I should be okay but I have to go decide for this stuff okay force to change the current attacks change the current rewards all right let's try the change the current rewards thing okay but I press Z and it changed it okay I can keep changing it Till I get what I want. Okay, let's add a health then. Okay, just get my health back. So it's 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 not adding it to my max life, because adding to my max life would mean, you know, that implying that I get like four hearts instead of three. Um Okay. I still don't have my any abilities, so not sure when I'm ever gonna get that. I'm also still at level zero zero, and I feel like I've been here for years. So maybe the leveling just doesn't work. Yeah, I'm definitely not gonna replay if if I die though. That's for sure. Right now, I just am a little bit curious to see if I if, if this game goes anywhere. I'm just going to yeah, add 10 souls. Maybe if I fill this orange circle uh, in the top middle there, it'll it'll do something. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, change the tag patterns, sure. Okay, it's coming in all directions now. All right. Let's just go pick everything up. Yeah, so uh, this is um it's taking quite a while. I don't oh there's a you can see the progress of the current level I guess in the top right. Oh, and I guess it does tell you which, again, the UI is absolutely terrible here, um, but it is telling me which direction <laughs> it's going to go. It's just doing it up there on the top right. So yeah, it's going to go right. And then this is, oh, they also go in order. So the next one's going to be going to the right and then up and then left. Okay. So if I look at that, I'd be able to know which is, uh, I guess useful but 
such a terrible way to have to find out, you know. Um, especially when it could just be so easily solved by just showing the arrow when it spawns, right? Then you won't even have to have the thing in the all those things on the top right. <laughs> yeah, how, what are you gonna do when there's five? Are you gonna just oh, you just add more to it? I oh, can't wait to see when there's twenty of them up there. <laughs> um, let's re-roll. Maybe I get something else. Never mind. I'm just gonna add ten souls. All right. Finally, add one point to your ability to roll. Okay, cool. I can roll now. What the fuck? Oh, I have to press Z and then a direction? Okay, does it give me invincibility for my roll at least? Do I get some iframes? Also, is there a limit to how much I can roll? Let's try it. Okay. It said I took damage, but I didn't actually take damage, so. <laughs> and why do I always have the Z under my name now? Like, I know I can Z to roll. I can outroll this. Wait, I had a minus 10 there? Wait, minus 10 for what? Oh, it's it's not my health. It's it's how, how it's like my mana or something. Oh my God, layers upon layers of confusion. <laughs> Oh my, it's not my man, it's my stamina. I don't even care about that. Just give me my level progress. I don't, I don't give a damn. I can just dodge everything normally. I don't even need this roll. Progress is so slow. Look at look at how slow this uh, that orange bar is filling up with. There's not even like a a thing that's worth more. I can only upgrade this one at a time um is there potential though um uh, um so the premise is you're dodging things uh and you can't fight back so if that's the premise then you better make the dodging like really fun. <laughs> like honestly, it's not. It's it wouldn't be that bad if um you know there's some variation. For example, like I'm only facing these yellow orbs. Like maybe if there's an orb that I don't know just. Was, went a little bit faster like it skipped blocks or maybe it went out for a little bit and then exploded um, that would add some variation um, I'm also not sure what the benefit is of the cell uh, tile based movement is like it just it's not like I'm it's like a strategy game where each movement counts a lot if I could just move around like normally I feel like it would be fine. Um, and then you could have like a lot more intricate or like ex interesting attack patterns because you wouldn't be limited to um, tile based. Um, yeah. Also, it just if we, even if we're just like staking with this type of game, uh, like we change nothing about the game, right? Um, a lot of things could still be improved, um, especially with the presentation of the information. It's just overall really confusing. Just look back at what I was confused at. And if you just fix those things so that uh, a new player looks at it and is like, oh, I get it. Um, you know, uh, I, I know what's going to happen. Uh, and just like set them up to succeed. Uh, Ability to roll with less. Sure, I'll take that one. That seems actually like a decent upgrade. Like, the only interesting thing right now is like getting abilities, right? That will make dodging easier. 
Uh, also, definitely, you should have... If you're going to make it this grindy, you should definitely have... Um, like a bonus, maybe, spirit thing you can pick up that is like time-based, like it's gonna disappear after a while. Then you have to hustle over there and use your movement abilities to go grab it. That would make this at least twice as interesting. Um, all right, I'll just fill this up. Yeah, as it is, uh, this is kind of a snooze fest because the difficulty isn't, you know, it's not that difficult. As well as, you know, the the, the reason to play isn't uh, like there's not much that that story that was presented a little bit. Um, like the Reaper hasn't shown himself or anything as I've progressed. Um, he, maybe he, this is my punishment, you know, this is hell, <laughs> and I'm just here doing this endlessly. I don't even care if I run into something. Oh, did it do one full heart of damage? Is, it, is that it getting stronger? I'm on level one. Isn't that, dude, that's crazy. Oh, wait, wait, it was because I only, like, leveled one, so I should be on level two after I... Also, I don't really get what the blue bar... Oh, the blue bar is for those little upgrades, and the orange bar is for the big upgrade, but they're both powered and generated by the same thing. Also, it seems like I maxed out the difficulty at five orange balls. So yeah, man. Uh, okay, so it seems like there's... Okay, look at how many upgrades there are. All right, let me, let's just take a moment, just look at these. Add one point to your shield level. I hit a shield? I didn't even know I had a shield. Add one full heart to your life. Add, unlock the attack with simple bomb. Okay, I have a attack. 50 points to your stamina meter. Add one ability to jump. So I get jump at level eight. Unlock the attack with simple traps. Promote to rookie level. At level 10, I become a rookie. Okay, what else? What else do I get? Add one point to your ability to roll. Uh, unlock the attack with multiple bombs. Add one point to your ability to teleport. Promote to junior level, level 20. Okay, looks like there's... Yeah, like, uh, there is a, f a bit more content here. Like, there's different attacks and stuff. Promote to senior level at 30. But, dude, who's going to make it to level 30? For le uh, much less level 10. I've, I've been playing for, like, 15 minutes, and I'm level 2. If we extrapolate that, then multiply that by 5. You know, it's almost like... That's going to be like almost two hours to get to level 10, to rookie level. And this is this is the amount of content you get for two hours of gameplay. Other games, you'd be finished. Like, you, you'd be done with it. So I just think the value proposition from this game is just very low. And if you want people to try to at least uh, get farther in your game, definitely make it easier or make it a lot faster paced to level up to to play the game like up like do 2x the speed uh or at least do i don't know like maybe i mean you can start this slow sure but you have to ramp up the difficulty and the skill involved and the progression the progression is inexcusably slow right now it's just it's just a snail's fest snail 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 race and um, yeah, um, I think I've uh, I've seen enough here. But um, look, it's it's really impressive that you have a game that's uh, out on Steam right now, and you've completed it. And you know, uh, 
Congratulations on that. Oh, this is actually an interesting ability. I didn't even know that that was a thing. That I can recover my stamina. Okay, I seem to have... Uh, okay, so it recovers my stamina a little bit. Okay, see, see, look, I got an interesting ability and I stuck around for a little while longer. Now just fill your game with uh, more interesting stuff like that and give it to the player in like... Just give it to them in like 30 second intervals or less, maybe 20 seconds. And I think they will try to stick around and see what your game's about. Uh, I wish you the best of luck. Uh, this has been D-Man Games. I'll see you guys next time.